guys, thank you so much for tuning into my channel. My name is Bianca and today's video is going to be about the teas. However, before we get into that video, be sure to comment, rate, and subscribe and click the bell notification button so that you may be notified every single time I upload a video. Uh, also, if you're an OD buddy goodie, please be sure to comment down below so that I know who you are and I know who's watching. Shout out to a few of you guys that I know. Um, I don't remember your name just as of yet, but just know I know who you are. Um, thank you so much for engaging with me. And also be sure to subscribe. Let's get to a thousand subscribers before 2019. I know we can do it. I believe it and I have faith. We might even surpass that number, putting it out there in the universe. However, without further ado, let's get this show on the road. Hello guys. I know I sh probably that's where I should have done like the fancy editing and stuff. Guys, like I know how to edit, but sometimes I feel like editing takes away from my originality, I guess. If that I hope that makes sense. So uh some videos I'll edit, some videos I won't, but I'll always do an intro and kind of like streamline right into it. Um before I get started on the subject matter, I wanted to let you guys know uh, videos that's to come. You guys know that I am in nursing school, and you also know that I am a, a CNA slash PCT, and I currently work at the hospital. If you don't know how I got there, I have a few videos. Check um, check them. I'll be sure to put a poll so that way you can um, see my journey and stuff like that. But... One thing about me is that I am not a very, I'm not a thin woman. I mean, I'm like 200 something pounds, I think like 205 or so. And um, I am very, like I'm pear shaped, so I'm very bottom heavy. And so pretty much scrubs are so hard to come across, but in scrub tops that fit me right because I have bigger hips and a smaller waist. And then I have a relatively good sized bust. So I'm going to be doing try on videos for scrubs. Um, maybe, I'm not sure when I'll put it out there, but um, I have to order the scrubs first and I plan on ordering a new batch of scrubs the week of, um, in a couple of weeks. But um, that video will drop on, it's not going to drop on a Tuesday, it's going to drop on a different day. I'm trying something out. So be sure you definitely are, um, definitely hit that notification button so that way you can be notified. And I'm definitely doing this video for def all of my curvy girls who struggle with scrubs that don't fit, that give you that extended crotch, that just are just terrible because the scrubs that I have right now that I got from the school are absolutely terrible and enough is enough. I decided that, you know what, your girl is about to invest in some scrubs so that way I can wear and be comfortable. So um, I'm going to share that with you guys soon come. Sorry, had to get the housekeeping out of the way so that way you guys can know what's to come. So try on haul for scrubs and my recommendations on scrubs for curvy girls or like girls who are shaped like me. So stay tuned. Okay, so to the subject matter, what we're going to talk about today is, is the teas hard? We are coming up on my one year anniversary to the first YouTube video that I posted and it was about how to successfully pass the teas. That video is the highest ranking video on my channel right now, so I figured I would do a part two. Is the teas hard? Um, to be honest, it's not hard, but it is a lot of like stuff that you learned in high school and if you graduated high school and you're taking the t's like you know seven years post high school like myself or six years or 20 years you know like it can be very challenging and it, honestly it can be very intimidating i'll never forget um when i was studying for the t's i was very exhausted there was one particular day before i was getting ready to take the practice exam to see where i was where i stood because i was studying not i was studying a lot when I took that practice exam, I literally wanted to stop in the middle of the test because I was so exhausted. It was like 4 o'clock or 5 o'clock in the morning, and I was like, I'm so over this. I don't even care. I don't even want to go into nursing school. You know, just those thoughts. But I was like, you know, 
let me just push through, let me just push through, because if I never finish this, I won't know where I stand. And I did. Now, the challenging part for me when it came to the T's was definitely the science. And um, I would say the science brought me down a lot, but I still passed the T's. Okay, let's just get that there. Um, the science brought me down a lot simply because... I never took anatomy and physiology. I didn't take it in high school. I took like, um, he, he was it he, biology and science. Was it earth science? Not earth science. What was it physical science? Um, and some other science thing. So I never knew what anatomy and physiology was. I didn't know what mitosis was, meiosis. I didn't know what any of that stuff was. So I, and plus I didn't focus, to be honest. I honestly did not focus on the science portion of the T's. Don't get me wrong. I did do flashcards for like ribosomes or whatever. But I was just honestly so over it because I was like doing questions upon questions. And the t I didn't really give a lot of love to the science portion and that brought my grade down but I still passed the T's and I still was able to get it accepted so I would say the hardest part of the T's for me was the science portion because that science stuff I never remember seeing I mean I never done it even when I was getting my pre doing prereqs in college in the community college I didn't take a science class so I didn't understand anything that they were telling me and when I got the book I didn't focus on that I figured I would focus on my strong suit my weak areas that can really lift my grade up and that's what I did so for me the hardest part of the T's was the science portion that was the toughest part for me and the results showed but as long as you can pull your weight in the other categories then you'll be fine in my opinion um, Aside from the science, the other thing that was, I would say that was tough about it is that when you're sitting to take the D's, it's four sections and the sections just kind of go one after the other versus like, I don't know, you can pick a section. You can't pick your section. It starts and you get started with whatever section you, you're, whatever section they tell you to start on. Um, the place that I got it done at, where I did mine at, they did allow you to take like a 10 minute break if you wanted to, but I didn't because I didn't want to like, I, I didn't want to get up and have to come back to the test. I wanted to do the test and finish it right then and there. I wanted to, when I was finished, to be out of there and just be done. You know, I didn't want to come back and revisit and sit in that crusty chair that was hurting my butt. I didn't want to do any of that. I just wanted to finish the test and then bounce out of there. And that's what I did. And the day of that test, I'll never forget it. There was this girl. She, I think she was trying to apply to nursing school too, a Rutgers, Rutgers nursing school in um, New Jersey, because I took the test in New Jersey. And she was like, oh my God, I'm so nervous. I'm still stressed out. I'm so this. And I was looking at her. I was like, girl, if you don't get your negativity away from me, like your stress wise, I don't need that. I'm getting ready to take my T's test that will determine whether or not I can get into nursing school. I do not need your energy around me. So when she started talking and going on, I literally moved. I was like, oh yeah, I mean, it's, if you did, I, I said this to her, I said, I mean, if you don't know it now, you, you're not gonna know it on the test. I mean, like, bro, like, leave me alone. Leave me alone, okay? And I'm sorry guys, I'm like flexing because I got my nails done today because I passed my lab class and so I was like, you know what, I'm just going to treat myself to my nails because I don't have to go back to clinical in like three weeks. So I was like, why not? It's actually four weeks. I got four weeks of mood color changing nails. Yeah, yes. But, um, but yeah, um, so yeah, that's to me was the hardest part of the tease. However, once I got accepted in the nursing program, my nursing program starts to finish, all the classes you need are there. So I had anatomy and physiology, and when I was taking anatomy and physiology, all that stuff that I learned on the T started to make sense because the stuff that they were teaching me were the stuff that were on the T, and I was like, okay, put two and two together. Now, let me just say this. Now, that's not to say if I took the T's again, would I score the same score? I probably would get higher, and definitely would get higher than science, but honestly, it is what it is. That's just my opinion on what the hardest part of the tease was if I, I guess what I could have done that would have 
not made it so hard. I could have spent some time on the science instead of focusing on the other three sections. But the way I saw it was like, you know what? I know my weak area, so I know the other areas that I'm weak and the other areas that have more questions, that's what I'm gonna do. And that's also, I forgot to mention that because each question had a certain, each area had a certain amount of questions. So I figured I'm gonna focus on the sections that are like the meat and potatoes of these teas and I'm gonna do that. So science, you could go have a seat. I think the science had like 22, 22 questions, I'm not sure, but 22, I don't, I don't remember, but it was something around that time. But I was like, I'm not gonna spend all my time focusing on this when I have like a 55 question section over here or whatever. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for the new stuff I have coming. I'm really excited. I'm actually really enjoying sharing this journey with you guys. Um, I want to be just as real and uncut as possible. If you guys have any questions, just feel free to leave them down below. Um, follow me on Insta. All that information is down below. And don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you later. Bye.